We're here at the Euromigos 2023 um, Nashville session. Uh, we had a Rising Star session just uh, a few minutes ago. Um, you both, uh, with Stephanie and Corinne, thank you both for your excellent trial ideas. That was thank you. brilliant. Uh, and we talked about Second Line and Beyond Urethial Cancer. Corinne, you started with yeah. Second Line Therapy mm -hmm. um, post EV Pembro. Mm -hmm. um, talk to me about what you think the standard of care is and what your trial asked. Right, so we're proposing a multi-arm phase two study, um, and we don't, we don't really know what the standard of care is going to be post-EV Pembro at this point in time. Is chemotherapy still going to have a response? Will too many patients have neuropathy to get platinum-based therapy? Is sasetuzumab going to have activity in the setting, or are FGFR agents uh, for mutant patients going to have activity? So proposing a multi-arm phase two study evaluating chemotherapy versus sasetuzumab, and then for FGFR 2 and 3 mutants, um, FGFR versus sasetuzumab. And that would be defining a new standard of care. There's nothing there at the moment. Um, Stephanie, you went on a little bit further, and you said, well, should we re-challenge with immune therapy? And it was a really difficult design, isn't it? Because we don't, but it's a really important question. So it just is. describe to me what your, the study looked like and some of the feedback you got. Of course, and again, going off of EV302, it's just more about those early progressors because that was a big you know, debate as well as when you progress early, albeit not really having the toxicities perhaps of the EV and Pembro, what is the role of bringing in Evalumab maintenance after platinum chemotherapy if, if, again, if they're still eligible for platinum chemotherapy and what that response would be? Does it worry contact three in renal cancer rechallenge the immune therapy didn't work super well? Different biology, but I, but, but I but. think we have, we have also good MRD monitoring in bladder cancer, we know, using ctDNA, which we can incorporate as well. Um, you know, more to come on that, but we know it's going through some um, ideas right now in the uh, steering committees and things about IO re-challenge, so an important question to ask. Fabulous. Thank you both very much. Thank you so thank much. Thank you.